two heats of the carousel along with the Kevin Newman Group 3 Free For All highlight the eight event program at Club and Angle on Saturday night. Looking for specials, we're going to commence those in race two with number 10, Doubtless Bay. The draw is a concern, but Doubtless Bay will appreciate the drop in grade. Very consistent, coming a very solid performance last time out. I think Doubtless Bay is definitely worth the gamble of the opening event on the card. So moving over to race five, number five, Black Onyx is the way to go. Resuming from a spell, has had two very solid trial wins. Very talented performer prior to running fourth behind Unfazed. Only beaten five and a half metres. Black Onyx did win two in good fashion. So with those two trials under his belt, we know how talented he is. I think Black Onyx will take a power beating in race five. Going over to race six, I'm going to stick with Alta Orlando. Beautifully drawn in gate one. He certainly will appreciate that the veteran performer coming off some very solid performances, runner-up at his past two starts. Where you've been bopping is naturally going to be the one to run down. He will be dictating the turns, but from gate one, Alfred Lander has the chance to secure that ideal run and be the better horse over the concluding stages. And moving over to the seventh event on the card here in Tay Tay, this outstanding two and three-year-old filly under the care of Alex Ashwood has been left with Jason Grimson for a Menangle campaign. Um, the mare is having her first start this season, trialled very impressively here at Club Menangle. Looks prime for a first up showing despite the fact she has drawn wide. So they're my thoughts for the Club Menangle meeting on Saturday night. Moving over to Milton, they have two cards this week, Friday and Saturday night. The Friday night meeting is set aside for the trotting fraternity and what an outstanding card it is. As far as the Saturday program is concerned, going in the Minute Man which is race eight on the card. Here we see the clash of Lochinvar Art and also Honolulu Bay. Both have drawn the second row, but I'm going to stick with a fitter Lochinvar Art to salute the judge over Honolulu Bay. And moving over to the final event on the card, beautifully drawn in gate one, Balenciago has been mixing his form of late Frandy and Kate Gath, but I think the pole position makes all the difference in what looks to be an open and competitive race to end proceedings. So are my thoughts for both Club Angle and Melton this Saturday night. Until next time around, good punting.